Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Orlando. I'm at the Congo River Golf. This is one of the best mini golf courses in Orlando, and I'm going to show you every hole. Stay with us. This mini golf course is on International Drive. You can see it's open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now we are going to walk over here and pay. It is $20 a person. I believe you can get a dollar off if you get one of those coupon books. So look for those around the city in Orlando in the area. Now they had some cool uh, golf balls. I wanted you to see those. I thought about getting that one of those Star Wars ones. Those were pretty neat. Uh, we didn't, though. We just got a regular golf ball and played the regular course. This course also has a variety of other things you could do, like feed the gators. Look at those baby gators. There's a lot, and they are hungry, and you can buy food as much as you want. A little packet isn't very expensive, like $8, and you can buy as many packets as you want and feed the gators before or after you go mini golfing. So let's go to hole one. I believe there is a practice hole. So that's kind of cool. This is the sign that you'll see if you're looking for where it is. So that's the mini golf. So let's start. Of course, you need to read the rules before you go. Make sure you don't do anything that you shouldn't. Here is what the starting hole looks like. And I wanna show you some of the cool decorations. They have this great Jeep right there. Really cool. I liked that. And they also have an airplane over there. So it's a fun course to play. All right, now I'm not the greatest mini golfer in the world, but hey, I'm gonna give it a shot. Ugh, not so good. All right, well, I will eventually get it in, so that's okay. So that's what the uh, first hole looks like. Here, I right, look at that, finally, right? You gotta get it, get it in. Here is a closer look at the Jeep and some of the signs. You can see it's all like a Congo River area where you're gonna be going through all the different, uh, look at this, a cave. It's really cool, a lot of water features. Very, very cool. Hole number two, and we gotta get it over there somewhere. We gotta go through some water. It's a really fun course. I think everyone in the family will like it because it's not, just boring it's really cool all right so we're at hole number three what does hole number three look like okay more caves to get through and the golf course itself is not extremely difficult but it's fun and <laughs> sometimes you're gonna do some weird things look i don't know what i did but i got fairly close to that one considering uh what i had to do and you can see there are some drinks on the way and there's also some benches in case you you know, want to stop and take a break. Sometimes it could be really, really hot in Florida. And over here, there's a wheel you can spin if you want to make the game more unique and interesting. Um, we spun the wheel, but we really didn't pay too much attention to what it said. Here I go. Let's see what I get. There I am. Choose an opponent to stand in the way for an extra obstacle for your hole. I wasn't going to do that. Enough problems as it was. I didn't need anybody standing in my way. I could just hit the rocks and never get to the hole. So I said, not doing that. So hole number five. Here we are. Another cool hole. I love the way they have that little tiki-ish uh, signs for the holes, each individual hole. Now this one, I got to get it in there. And I think once I get it in there, it's gonna come out way over here. And I gotta get in that hole. A lot of holes are get it in one hole, go down and get in the other hole. So you have to do it kind of twice. So your score is maybe a little high if you uh, don't get it in the hole right away. So, but it's still a lot of fun. And look at these little tiki huts. Aren't those adorable? I mean, they really decorated this place very, very well. I really enjoyed all the different uh, decorations and the cool little obstacles. It seems like some of the holes were moved. Maybe they were easier at one time. They made them more difficult here. You want to get it in the center hole so it goes over there. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Probably took me two or three times, but uh, you don't want to see all that. You want to see when I actually got it right there. There we go. And it comes out there and, oh, just missed that one.
you gotta walk a little way. Sometimes you gotta take stairs and you're gonna have to go up and down different obstacles. So if you uh, have problems walking, it may not be perfect for you. Now you can see over here when we were there, there was all kinds of police across the street. There was something going on over there. Um, somebody was in some apartment building or something. So, hey, this is Orlando and anything can happen here. So let's go to the next hole. And here we go. Look at the beautiful waterfall. Isn't that just a, like a majestic scene? I thought it was really, really nice. Um, you know, it's great to have something special for each hole. And they really do do a good job. That's why I say this is definitely one of the best in Orlando. We'll show you some of the other ones in the future. But this one I really, really liked. So we're going to go on to the next hole. And this one is a boat. I like the boat. I like all the different features. There's a little bridge that you have to walk over, kind of like a suspension bridge. It's kind of cute. Got to get it in that hole and then maybe in one of those. Let's see how I do here. Well, I got an ad hole. Let's see where it ends up coming. And, and they moved that hole. That's not the hole. The hole's down there. Why'd they move it? I would have been really close if they had it kept it where it was. So, have to take a second shot and yeah, sunk that one. Let's check out hole number eight. Gotta make a little roundabout and end over there near that waterfall. Let's see what I can do. Well, it's going in the right direction anyway. At least it headed the right way. All right, so we're on hole number nine. Hole is behind those wood pieces. Boy, that's kind of difficult, starting over here and going all the way over there. I don't know. Here is the little bridge I told you about. And you can see you have to walk up those steps and it's right around all the uh, water. And there is that airplane a little bit closer. If you like our videos, I wanna tell you, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and give us a big thumbs up. We are also Rockin' Robin on Facebook if you are interested in looking for more there. So let's continue our golf adventure. The higher we get in the golf course, you can see how beautiful it really is. It is really just a nice course. So here we are, next hole. Let's see how we do here. If you're a good golfer, it doesn't look like it's too difficult of a hole. And if you're not, you're gonna probably hit it past it like I did. But as long as you don't hit it in this water, uh, you'll be fine. Look how high you can get and how you can see the whole course from the top. All right, so I guess we're ready for the next hole. Look at that guy. Just cool. I love looking at all of this. We are on hole number 11. For hole number 11, you can go two ways, up, there and around or try to go through the wood. Eventually I got it close enough to at least make an attempt and I missed it. So close. So let's move on and see what we have here. Wow. This one looks a little complicated. I'm going to head it under there and where does it go? Nobody knows. All right. So I have to get it to the right. Well, at least it heads in the right direction. Oh, where's it going now? Well, not too bad. So we're going to go back up some stairs for the next hole. Looks like the next hole is down there somewhere. For hole number 13, you want to get it past that pole, like a totem pole. And look at this one's right in the way because it's right behind that one which is odd. So there it is, not an easy hole. And let's climb a little bit more. We are not quite at the top yet. So yes, this is the top and let's take a view. 
as I try to make my way to the top. I thought the view was great. I absolutely loved it. And, woo! On the top of the world! <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have fun. No reason not to have fun with it all. So let's look. We can see the, some of the holes down there that we have already been. And there's that airplane again. Time to get back to the game. And let's see, we're trying to go over here for hole number 14, I believe. It looks like you have a choice of two holes to get it in. I think you need to get that hole would be better. And then it's down there is the hole. So this is a two hitter, which there's a several of these. this little tomb I don't know what that's all about kind of interesting the tomb good news is there is no body down there but there are snakes just a short little putt and of course I missed it so the next hole, you have to go all the way down there. At least it's downhill, so it's taking it in the right direction no matter what you do. Not too close to the hole, but at least it's in the right area. So number 16, here is the 16th hole. Let's see what this one's about. I don't know, it looks like I'm gonna hit it and I don't know where I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna go around that wood and then down into that hole. And again, it's gonna come out somewhere on the bottom over there. So let's see what happens. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, at least I got it out. All right, so time for hole number 17. Now you go down here. That's not too far. Oh, and then it's got to go down there. Boy, a lot of these doubles. And if you don't get it in that hole, then you got to go all the way around. So this is where it will come out of, and you're hoping it's not too far from that hole. Hey, that wasn't bad. Well, we need to get to the last hole. Gotta get to hole number 18 and see what that's about. There is some basketball courts over here. I'm not sure if it cost the player what that's all about. We didn't really check that out, but they do have that. And at some time I did see people on that. So the final hole. You either wanna get the ball before the wood or you can get there is a hole right at the other side of the wood and then that's it so I wanted to show you they have some other things this is the gift shop and they have some interesting things that you can buy here ways and plush and maybe an ice cream if it's hot on a Florida day you might need it lots of cool plush that you would find in the Congo and you can return your golf equipment here and then after that if you want, you can go to the arcade. They have a little arcade over here. You can play some games. They also have a mining area where you can mine for some gemstones. So there is a lot to do at this Congo River mini golf. And, and I think that, you know, that that's great. You can spend the whole night here. Just make sure you bring enough money because it's not gonna be cheap, but you're gonna have a lot of fun. And if you're on vacation, it's a good thing to go if you're trying to get away from 
Disney or do something a little bit different in the evening. Uh, but it's it's definitely a lot of fun. I'll show you the mining over here. Well, this is Rock and Robin. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up and watch all our Orlando videos. Have a magical day.